What's going on, YouTube? This is uh, Raphael, aka Seha Man, back with another review for uh, my haunted figure reviews for the month of Halloween <clears throat> or October. Uh, I'm still fighting the cold, so my voice still might sound a little jacked up. And we're reaching the end of these reviews. We got about a week. Yeah, exactly, a week to go. <clears throat> I'll probably do about three or four more reviews um, up until Monday. And uh, starting Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll be going back to reviewing Marvel Legends, DC, other NECA figures, uh, just a bunch of other stuff. I got a lot of new figures, so I got a lot of new uh, uh, Batman figures, and um, I got some of the new uh, Terminator uh, figures, and <clears throat> I've seen the entire wave of the Green Lantern Movie Masters including the parallax piece and all I gotta say is shitty so I will not be picking them up because they looked crap like crap that Mora figure I think the name is this looks it just looks horrible the Gallius uh, Zed doesn't look good and neither does um, Hector Hammond so I'm not gonna be picking up those figures anyways <clears throat> I got totally off subject I just wanna let you guys know that I will be doing regular reviews starting next week but today we're going to be taking a look at another Halloween figure, another Michael Myers figure. And today we're going to be looking at the uh, Mezco Halloween 2. This, this uh, is inspired by the uh, Rob Zombie film. So we'll take a look at the back of the card. You got a picture of Michael Myers here. 7 inch scale by Mezco. The front eh, it just has a little picture of Michael Myers. So... Not too bad, not too bad. <clears throat> okay, let's get started. So here is Michael Myers. Uh, pretty cool looking figure. I actually really like this uh, Michael Myers a lot. I really, really like the uh, the head, the head sculpt. You can see like one side is just bloody. Looks like it's got like flesh on it see that there and then this side the mask all scarred up and dirty you can see his eyes through there this actually really looks nice you can see the bottom here how the mask you know the mask is kind of like tore up it, he looks like a guy actually wearing a mask and then the hair is messy which is really cool as well you can see here and it's got some blood on his he has some blood on his hair but the head sculpt is just amazing and articulation wise in the head sculpt the head sculpt goes up and down side to side and rotates so this is a really nice um, head sculpt. And the <clears throat> his outfit that he's wearing is dirty. Well, not dirty, but it's covered. Well, yeah, I guess you could say it's dirty. It's covered in blood. So if you can see that there, it got nice detail. Looks. It also has that like wet-looking feel to it. So that's really cool. I don't know how my voice sounds, but it's to me it sounds like it's jacked up. Sorry. Anyways, uh... So get a close look at the detail on the on his um, uniform, which is really nice. Mezco did a great job on this Michael Myers figure. Look at his uh, knife here, which is really cool. Just slides right in his hand. It's very bloody. It's a little sharp as well. Really cool, cool figure. You can see the detail on there, the blood all over it. That's really nice. It just slides right in his hand. You can see his fingernails too are pretty dirty. So they got he did <clears throat> uh Mesco did a great job on the detail on this. Um let me see if I can get a better zoom here. See his fingernails are just dirty. The whole his skin is just dirty. Same with like the neck area. If you can make that out, it's dirty. So it's really nice. Overall, this guy is just a great figure. His left hand is even dirtier. Look at his nails. He's got some chubby hands. <clears throat> um, look at the boots. Very nicely detailed, guys. Articulation-wise, no leg articulation, of course. Uh, no foot articulation. He does rotate at the waist. His arms do go in and out, forward and back. He can bend at the elbow. He has a swivel as well at the lower arm, at the forearm. His wrist can rotate. It's the same thing with uh, this arm here. Same thing. 
So this is a really cool Michael Michael Myers figure. I really I really enjoy this figure here. Very nice um, sculpt. Just an awesome awesome figure. Now <clears throat> I want to do a little comparison of the Michael Myers figures that I own. I don't own many Michael Myers figures, but at least I got three different ones from different um, <clears throat> makers. Like for instance, this one's the Mezco one from uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween Part Two. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. This one is the. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take this backdrop down. Hold on one second, guys. This one here is the Mezco one, of course. This one here is the Halloween Rob Zombie film Part One by NECA. It's a lot taller. Look at the size difference on this. Totally, totally different. And look, just look at the difference in com in comparison, especially in the masks. And then here's the uh, McFarland Halloween. This is the original Halloween, right here. <clears throat> now, you guys that watch my videos, which one? Ah, damn camera. Okay, okay, sorry about that. Which one would you guys say is the best? We'll do a quick zoom here. Here's the Michael Myers from the original Michael Myers um, McFarland. Quick little pan. All right, here's the Mezco one, which you just saw today. Bye-bye, Michael. This is Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 by Mezco. Close up there. Okay, and this is the NECA Halloween Part 1 by Rob Zombie. So we'll put him in the left. Put the Mezco one in the middle since that was the one we just reviewed. And we'll back up here. So these are my <clears throat> Michael Myers figures that I own. We'll get a close up on all the head sculpts here. NECA. Mezco. McFarlane. I don't know, man. If if I had to pick one of my favorite ones, I'd probably have to say the McFarlane one. Even though the Mezco one has a really nice head sculpt, he really does. The McFarlane one just has that old school look to it. And look at the size differences. NECA like towers over the Mezco and McFarlane. And then the Mezco, you know, still towers over the McFarlane. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, today we were taking a look at the Mezco Rob Zombie Halloween 2 figure. Again, a great figure. Uh, I'm not sure if he's hard to get. He, he cost, I don't know how much this figure cost me. I think it cost me 18 I don't remember. But really nice figure. Definitely worth picking up. The head sculpt's great. Articulation's pretty, you know, decent for, this, for these kind of figures. And just an overall great figure. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my videos. Stay tuned because I got a few more videos coming up for uh, the month of Halloween and then we're going to be getting back into the usual Marvel Legend, DC, and all that other good stuff. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Stay tuned for more.